Let's bring out our first fighter out of the blue corner for this heavyweight kickboxing undercard bout. Please welcome Jeff DeMazier. <laughs> Boy, they got, they love to put everything but, or music. they like to put nothing but their music sometimes. Out so, of Sinjitsu. Jeff, that's all we know about you, is you like Kodak Black. And that you fight in Sinjitsu. And, but we wouldn't have known that either. If it weren't for the shirts. If it weren't for the shirts. Yeah. Well, amateur fighters around the world, if you're listening to us, fill out your fighter form. It helps people get to know you. Yeah, I can do all the research in the world, but when you're making debuts or your first couple of fights, sometimes it's hard to find. I don't know much about you, so you gotta fill me in. And now we welcome to the cage fighter number two out of the red corner, Tom Gormley. I like Tom Gormley's fight style. It's funky. It's funky. Hey, tall fella. Yes, he is. Been training, un been training under Henry since 2018. All right. Competed in Golden Gloves in, in Pennsylvania. I've heard of it. Not Transylvania. No. The only Sylvania that's well, a state in the United States, in the U.S. Sylvania light bulb factory. Yeah, Tom Corman's a big boy. Yeah, they, that, big heavyweight. I don't have official weight for these guys. Uh, neither one looks to be uh, north of 240. Let's see. I bet Blake Chavez. Uh, Demezier, 221. The following bout is brought Broadway, to you by Greatish Injury Law and is set in the XFN heavyweight kickboxing division with three two-minute rounds of action. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this kickboxer stands at six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in at 221 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur kickboxing record of one win and zero losses and fighting out of Senjutsu in Delray Beach, Florida. He is Jeff DeMazinger. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This funky style fighter stands at six feet, five inches tall. He weighed in at 238 pounds. He enters this fight with an amateur kickboxing record of one win and one loss. And fighting out of Hard Knocks 365 by way of Wexford, Pennsylvania. He is Tom Gormley. They're free to this fight, Ray Ramos. Ray Ramos looking to handle the uh, the beef, as it were, heavyweights. Uh, not often we have heavyweights here at XFN. Yeah. Always a show. Kickboxing, two-minute rounds. 6-5 is a lot to deal with. Yeah. And he leaves with a head kick. I'm all for that. Oh, good body kick as well. Back fist by Demezier. Trying to loop the right hook over the top. Yeah, that Jeff works. Demezier. Yeah, it does. Nice teep by Demezier. Well, oh, some good hands there from Gormley. Nice head work by Demezier. Yeah. I tell you what, if that yeah. right would have landed, Gormley might have been counting birdies. Yeah, and Demezier obviously been watching a little bit of Tyson Fury with that uh, head, head movement there against the cage. There's worse guys to try to mimic. Yeah, how does he do, how does a 6'8"? Whoa. <laughs> Oh, man. Leaping into action is Jeff DeMezier. Uh, I don't know how Tyson Fury does it. I just like to, I just, I'm happy I get to watch it. Oh, good body kick there. And a low oh, kick afterwards, yeah. uppercut as well. Nice knee by Gormley. There's a lot of dirty boxing going on. Yeah. A lot I'm, of stuff happening on the inside. Whenever is trying to lead with a leg kick, that opening leg kick. Uh, Gorman's looking to land an uppercut off that. Oh! Oh! That was... That got kind of him in the face. That was bit, face. Though. Yeah. Gloved in face. The Sinjitsu corner just uh, just enunciated, get your hands up. But the Bezier ate it. Yeah. Luckily that wasn't shin and it was all foot. Yeah. Ducked right into an uppercut right there, the De Bezier. Yeah. Gormley using his length to get out of the way of those punches. Yeah, a little razzle-dazzle head movement as well from Gormley as he's backing up. 
Hate to see a guy that tall back straight up with his hands down, though. Maybe not well, today or tomorrow. That's going to catch up with him one day. Oh, nice back fist there. Set up pretty well, but just didn't land where he wanted to land. Ford Mezzi, round number one. Then the scratch. Yeah. A little bit of action here. That lead head kick. Mezzi kind of ran off from that one. Flash the low kicks. Good boxing there. Look, Look at that movement. head movement. Yeah. Very Fury-esque. Yeah. That leaping punch. That would be called Superman punch. Here comes that face kick. Smack! Yeah, man. That was what did the five toes say to the face in this situation? Smack. 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 And then nice, uh, nice setup there of the back fist. Uh, didn't land as many was a good setup. And I, I don't know, like, I don't know if spinning back fist is going to be a smart move against somebody that only has to turn their shoulder a little bit to, yeah. Correct. to block that. Correct. You never know. Something Obviously, different. You miss every shot you don't take. That's correct. Threw something out there. I just think the range, the range was good. Yeah. yeah just, uh, just didn't, didn't land. That's what happened. If they all landed, then all five should be five seconds long. Round number two underway. Oh, big right hand on the opener there for Gormley. Uh, Gormley. A lot of wild movement here from Jeff Meze, the Sinjitsu fighter here, kind of all yeah, over the place. And, and being the shorter fighter, I think he's get, he's got a little bit more power in his punches. Yeah. Like he he's settled in when he throws that right hand. Yeah. That's coming with some steam. Whereas yeah. whereas uh, Gormley's are just kind of long. Yeah. They, they got some pop to them. Don't get me wrong, For but sure. they just don't have the power that the Mezier's has. I mean. Yeah, at 6'5", 240, he might need to work on that. Oh, oh yeah. big shot there from Demezier. Gorman may want to set that uppercut up just a little bit better. It's going to be there for him. Right there, backing away with the hands up with your chin in the air like that, and Demezier's got to throw a little bit higher, and it's on your jaw. Well, yeah, he's, he's, he's counting on his length. Yeah. I always tell my guys, don't set your de defense up on your physical gifts. No, got to be tight. Physical gifts aren't always there. But your defense will be. Keep correct. your hands up. That is correct. Because you see guys, you see somebody like Jimmy Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Banktime Wash, uh, Washington, if he, if he set all of his defense up on being the tallest fighter, he wouldn't have had any defense uh, in, in, his, in his last fight. So, you know, but he's got tight defense. It's not based on being tall and long. Got good tight defense. Excellent point there. Oh, see, there's that uppercut. Bolo that out there. Did warmly. My old coach, Dr. Polly Gloves, used to say, the reason why you're, you're, you play defense as you're long because you don't let them get close to it. Get close, you have to play defense. Stop talking about that. Round number two, on the way to Messier, going back to his corner. Yeah. No reason for a stool. Normally, gonna sit on top of the cage. Six foot five. That's a long way down. Yeah, normally throwing out that old Boyce Gracie leg kick. Yeah, why not? To get in close. Sure. I mean, he's throwing good high kicks. It's just a Demese blocking him. All these other ones. So that's he's, he's got a good high kick this morning. I, I like that little uh, stand him up with a chancery, brother. Yeah. This is this this fight isn't in anybody's in anybody's favor right yet. I mean, no. it could go either way. It could go either way. Either guy could get uh, could knock the other guy out as well. Like, it might not go to the judges. It might not matter. Seconds are out. Round, Ray Ramos says round number three, let's get it, get it popping. Nice body kick by Gormley. Gormley's style is very awkward. Like it's unconventional. And it might be hard to get the timing down. Oh, 
Oh, another big right hand there over the top from the Messier. Yeah, ain't a jab to give, ain't, ain't one to give one. Yeah. Long jab himself there. Yeah, Ray Ramos not breaking him up. Good leg kick from Gormley. Separating the clinch, about a minute, about a minute 10 to go here in the third and final round. Second kickboxing bout of the evening. XFN 46. Oh, nice right hand again. It's not, it's not, it's just not finding the target. Yeah, it's not finding that button. If it does, another, another spinning back fist, a little bit better landing that time. Oh. Oh, that right, that straight right. Yeah. By Demezier. Yeah. Yeah, Gormley puts that front teep up there quick and gets down quick. Nice head movement from Gormley slip outside of the onslaught there. I'd like to see him do something else. He is, he is, he is wearing takedown shorts, which would not benefit him in this situation. A takedown there. That would not. Oh, <laughs> man. Big whiffer. And I, I wonder if Demezze spent time with Chuck Liddell. Another right. good those, overhand. Those, yeah. those, that's been his best weapon. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, come on, guys. Ten seconds to go. Leaping is Demezia, making an impression on the crowd. That is that. We will go to our judges. You know, I would love to see these guys know their history. Yeah. yeah. And check out Sugar Ray. And uh, watch what happens when the last 10 seconds. Oh, oh man, that was a good shot, actually. You know, there. they're letting time go by. They're letting that 10 seconds go by. Ray Leonard beat Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Not in the fight. He beat him at the last 10 seconds of every round. Yeah, sure he did. Um, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> out the yeah, yeah. In the judges' eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. No, no. Mar anybody that likes boxing know who, knows who won that fight. Yeah. However. Yeah, correct. He, he, he stole it at the end. Every the every end. single round, he heard that that 10 second, and he flurried. Flurried hard. Yeah. Keep it keep it close and flurry hard at the end. Yeah. Now MMA maybe maybe not. May not be that longer five minute round. Yeah. But it, it may not be smart because you can walk into anything and then, you know, now you got all kinds of weapons that you can run into, but right. for kickboxing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in MMA it's harder to steal a five minute round in the last twenty seconds because you gotta be a lot closer for a lot longer. And even May judges are clueless anyway. <laughs> If we're being honest. Uh, judges here at XFN more than often not, uh, more often than not, get it right. And uh, Blake Chadwick, I, I don't know what's right and what's wrong anyway anymore. So, Blake ladies Chadwick. and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds of action, we go to the judges' scores. Judge number one ruled this fight 29-28 in favor of Jeff Demazier. Judge number two ruled this fight 29-28 in favor of Tom Gormley. And judge number three ruled this fight 29-28. Your winner by split decision out of the blue corner, Jeff Demazier. I'm here with your winner, Jeff Demazier. You got a minute real quick. We're gonna look worldwide. That was a, uh, that was a, a tall reel to figure out. You landed, landed a lot of good shots, got a lot more confidence in your right hand. It looked like as the fight went on. Uh, now you released this debut, but you were announced as one and oh either way. That was a good fight. Uh, undefeated either way, so take a minute, talk us through it. Worldwide on Flow Combat. Sorry, I, I was so zoned in, I didn't hear what you said. Say it again. <laughs> I wasn't really a question. Just, hey man, you came out, had a great fight, right? You won this fight, you're undefeated. What's up? Uh, basically, I just want to, to my opponent, uh, had one hell of a fighter, he was tough. Caught me with a crazy uh, a leg kick to the head. I, it woke me up, but um, I definitely want to make that fight happen again. Um, and. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, from there, I just want to thank my coaches, my coaches in the corner. Uh, they put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this as well as myself. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me at the venue.
It was awesome to have you here. Great to watch you. Again, you kind of started building that right hand up. Just couldn't quite land on the job, but you're a dangerous guy. He's already calling for a rematch. I'm down to watch that. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together with Jeff DeMaisier. <laughs>